I'm Chris Kyle from Washington, D.C. And I'm Noelle Ray from Washington, D.C. We got engaged last night. And we're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, ever since I was a little kid, I've been riding, and I actually grew up riding in Washington State, in the Palsbo and Silverdale area, and I've always told, and I still ride now, but I always told Chris that one day I want a horse of my own again, and I ask him sometimes if he'll buy me one. So definitely when I saw that, it caught my attention in the end. <laughs> Well, um, we walked into the hotel, and uh, I was really nervous that the paper wouldn't be there, there'd be something wrong. I was really scared about something going wrong. Um, and when I walked in the room, there was a, a mock-up of the, of the story right on the dresser, face up, for the whole world to see. And so I knew she would see, um, you know, will you buy me a horse on there? And I thought, oh God, I got, I, so I ran in front of her and flipped it over and put her purse on top of it really quick. <laughs> And then I, I saw the, <laughs> and then I saw her the, I, I saw the newspaper and gave that to her and I said, why don't you look through this newspaper and see if there's anything fun for us to do here in Vancouver. Yeah, so, so it was so funny because we're here in Vancouver as part of a road trip um, coming up from Seattle yesterday and it's pretty common when we're traveling to look through the local newspapers and see if there's anything exciting or fun to do. So I didn't think anything about it when Chris asked me to do that. And I just started flipping through, you know, reading. I saw an article about the mayor, and then right there underneath it, I saw it was like bright red. <laughs> and there was a picture of a horse and said, um, yes, I'll buy you a horse, which I thought was a very odd thing to be in an ad. And that is like something that we joke about a lot. So it caught my attention. And what I think is really funny now, and, I, and then I looked at the rest of the ad, and I saw, will you marry me? And I think it's funny because like the horse was actually larger and in bigger text than Will You Marry Me, which was a little smaller. I wanted to get your attention. <laughs> so the horse got, <laughs> got my attention, but it was so, I couldn't believe it. Once I saw it, I realized what it was and I started looking at all the sweet things Chris had written on the sides and all of those things that he wrote are very much inside comments between the two of us, which now like everybody in Vancouver saw. <laughs> But that's okay. It was very romantic. I started crying a little bit, and when I turned around, Chris had the ring and flowers and everything. I called about seven different newspapers, and uh, <laughs> I liked the response I got from the Courier the best. They were the friendliest, um, just really nice and informal, seemed to be really happy for me, and kind of had my back. And they could also, I mean, honestly, I got the best price for the, for the most, all in color. So I was appreciative of that as well. Plus, um, you guys have a large circulation, so I, I wanted that to be the case too. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she'd enjoy knowing that, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> now all of our little personal yeah. <laughs> stories. Yeah, exactly. 